Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to talk about how to construct a box plot if the data set has an outlier. And besides that, we're going to finally have the official definition of an outlier. So far, when we talked about outliers, we said that they're just extreme observations, extremely small or extremely large observations compared to the data set. But this is all subjective. In this video, we're going to talk about how to find an outlier and how it's defined. Let's look at this box plot that I already constructed, and here's its corresponding data set. Notice that here we have one value that's far away from the rest of them, this one. Well, it's actually going to be an outlier. In fact, I can see that the right-hand side whisker is not even stretched to that number or that value. It stops at the one that goes before it. So how do we know that this value is an outlier, that it's too extreme. Well, here's the method. To know that this value is an outlier, I need to make sure that it's outside of what we call a fence. So here we have right fence. And over here we have left fence. And I'm going to say that any value that falls outside of either left fence or right side fence is going to be an outlier. But the good question is, where do I build those fences? Well, this is how I find their positions. What I do to determine the right fence, I start at Q3, so that's this value here, Q3. And I make step to the right. How far do I step? Well, that distance is always going to be 1.5 times IQR. Remember IQR, interquartile range? It's this distance here, the distance of the box itself. So if I take that value, that distance, which is IQR, and multiply it by 1.5, and if I add that value to Q3, that's where I will have to you know, in a sense, build that fence. By the way, it's, it doesn't have to be drawn, it's not part of the box plot, you know, it's kind of like imaginary fence that I have here. Anything that falls outside it is going to be an outlier. Same goes with extremely small values, they're also outliers. Um, and for that we have left fence. To find where it's positioned, I have to start at Q1, so here is Q1, and again, I have to take a step to the left. How long is that step? How far do I step? Again, it's going to be 1.5 IQR. But this time, since I'm stepping to the left, I will be subtracting it from Q1. So minus 1.5 IQR. Let me write this down. So to find the right fence, I will be taking Q3 and adding 1.5 IQR and 1.5 is always there. So Q3 will be different for different data set. IQR will be different depending on your data set, but 1.5 always stays. That number is part of the formula. And then the left fence is Q1 minus 1.5 IQR. And here's the definition that I promised. If data value is less than the left fence or greater than the right fence, then it's considered an outlier. So once again, anything that falls outside of those fences are going to be outliers. And when we're constructing a box plot, outliers um, will be also marked, but we just mark them with a dot or sometimes it's a little x, depends on the source you're using, but um, I'll denote like that. So it's an outlier shown on the box plot. So it's part of the box plot graph. And let's make notes about the whiskers. So as we already talked about, and notice that this whisker on the right, it's not extended to the maximum value um, of the data set because it happens to be an outlier. So we don't include it. We actually extend the whisker to the maximum, or I should say largest value, that's not an outlier, so the largest value within the fence. So I wrote extend the whisker 
up to the maximum value within the fence. And now on the left hand side, we extend the, extended the whisker to the minimum value for the data set. Well, because there are no outliers on the left for this data set. So that is the minimum value. Minimum value, no outliers on the left. And as we already observed, a box plot is identified by five important values of the data set. And they are Q1, Q2, which is the same as the median, Q3, and also minimum value and maximum value that are not the outliers. And those five values, one, two, three, four, five, are called five number summary of a data set. So it's just five numbers that when we write them, um, it, they tell us you know, quite a lot about the data set. So let's write this down here. So I'm gonna say, a box plot is based on the five number summary of a data set, and they are in order minimum value, but not an outlier. We exclude the outliers from the data set because they um, influence the measures of the data set. So, minimum, then it's Q1, then it's Q2 or median, all right, median but it's same as Q2. Then Q3, and then maximum value, again, not an outlier. So if you come across a five number summary of a data set, in other words, you will be just given five numbers in order, well, each number has its own meaning, and here they are, five number summary. In the next video, we're gonna do example where we actually construct a box plot from scratch.